Hi, I'm Vicky B and welcome to my full body dumbbell workout. So as I've just said, we're going to be working the entire body and we're going to be working for 32 minutes. The way it's going to work is we're going to do four different exercises and then we'll repeat them through once more. Then we'll move on to the next set of four exercises. OK, for each exercise, we'll be working for 40 seconds, resting for 20 in between. I'll tell you what the upcoming exercise is in that rest. OK, make sure that you've warmed up before you start. You can warm up on my channel or warm up of your choice. Weight-wise, that will depend on your fitness and strength level. I've got a couple of pairs of dumbbells here <clears throat> so that I can alternate between like my upper and lower body. Um, it's great if you can do the same. Make sure that you've got a drink to hand um, and a towel. If you like the video, please hit my subscribe button and then you'll get notified of my upcoming videos. Right, let's get into it. So I'm going to set my timer. And let's go. So... So the first one is that dumbbell front squat. So you're going to pick up your dumbbells and you're going to rest them on your shoulders, feet just a bit wider than hip width apart, and we're going to sit back in that imaginary chair. Okay, back nice and straight, squeezing as we come up. So off we go. So nice. Nice straight back, sit back in that chair, head and chest up. Nice and controlled. Squeezing those glutes as you come up. Okay, great compound exercise, working multiple muscle groups on this. So you're working your hamstrings, glutes, quads, and your core. Well done. Fantastic. Right, next one, make sure you've got, if you've got a couple of pairs of dumbbells, make sure that you've got them to the side so you don't trip. We're going to do a single deadlift into a reverse lunge. So you're going to come into that single leg deadlift, come back up, rest it down, and back into a reverse lunge and forwards. Okay, so down into that deadlift, come back up, tap to the floor, and reverse lunge. Stick into the same leg. We're going to do the next leg, the other leg in the next exercise. Nice and controlled. When you go into that lunge, make sure that you've got that nice form, nice degree in those knees. Well done. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to swap legs this time and do exactly the same. When you come down to that deadlift, your body should be always parallel to the floor. Okay? And coming back up, tap down into that reverse lunge and back up. So off we go. Keeping that back nice and straight. Slight bend in that knee as you do that deadlift. Ooh. Well done. It's quite a tricky one to balance this, so take your time. Right, next one. Let's put that one of the dumbbells to the side so it's out of your way. And we're going to do side lunge into curtsy lunge. So you're going to hold the dumbbell by your chest. We're going to do a nice side lunge, pushing that bottom back, coming back to centre and going straight down into a curtsy lunge. So we're going to do 20 seconds one way. Toes facing forward on that curtsy lunge. Well done. Set. So we're alive, we're not going to do 20 seconds. I think we're going to do this leg on this set, and then we're going to do our left leg on the next set. 
Fantastic. Right, okay, so now we're going to go back to the beginning. And we're going to start with those dumbbell squats again. So, pick up those dumbbells. Place them on your shoulder. If you find that too heavy, just have the one dumbbell and hold it up against your chest. Okay, so off we go. So we're going to repeat them all again. And then just for the last exercise, we're going to do a slight lunge into curtsy with our left leg. So again, nice, straight back, sitting back into that imaginary chair, head and chest up. Squeezing those glutes as you come back up. Fantastic. Well done. Keep it going. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go back into that single leg deadlift into a reverse lunge. So, hands facing here, at the side of your body, coming down into that single leg. Head lift, tap to the floor, balance, and then go back into that reverse lunge. Go back to start. So off we go. So well done. Fantastic. Nice step, big step back into that reverse lunge to make sure that you've got that nice knee alignment. Brilliant. Give those legs a little shake. And we're going to do the same with the other leg. So. <clears throat> right, ready? Off we go. So nice and slowly down. Back up, tap to the floor for balance and back into that reverse lunge. Ready guys. Ooh. Lovely. Right, okay, put one of those dumbbells down. And we're going to go, like I said, with your left leg this time. So hold again the dumbbell to your chest, taking a nice side lunge, bring it back, and then into a curtsy lunge, making sure those toes are pointing forwards. So we go. As you're doing that side lunge, you should be feeling it all in your inner thigh. Push that bottom back. Push that chest up. Well done. And last few. Brilliant. Okay, done with legs. So face that down. I'm going for my lighter dumbbell now. We're going to go into push up, pull through. So you're going to go into your push up position on your knees or on your toes. You're going to come into that push up and you're going to pass the dumbbell through. Push up and pass. Off we go. Making sure that you've got that correct alignment with your hands, elbows, and shoulders. So passing it through. Well done. Again, this can be done on your knees. Fantastic. Brilliant. 
Right, go back up to stand. And we're gonna go to row into fly. So this one, you're gonna have your hands, your palms facing beside your legs. Bend your back 45 degrees, let the hands hang, arms hang. We're gonna row towards the ceiling, back down and fly. So row, bringing those elbows to the ceiling, into fly. Those flies should be in line with your shoulder with a slight bend in those elbows. As you're squeezing up into those rows, squeeze those shoulder blades. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, next one we're going to go to chest fly. So we're going to go down to the floor. Knees bent. You can hold those dumbbells above your chest and we're going to open them into a fly. So the backs of your arms are just touching the floor as you go down. So, weights above your chest as you squeeze up, bringing them back down with a slight bend in those elbows and the backs of the arms touching the floor. Nice and controlled. Squeezing on the way up. Well done. Great work. Fantastic. So if you put them down at the side and come up. Right next, we're going to go into a mountain climber and row. So again, put them to the side. Just take your one dumbbell. Have it in between your hands. You're going to do a row to the ceiling and you're going to do side mountain climber. So row, side mountain climber. Row, side mountain climber. As you're rowing, those elbows Staying close to your body. Again, this can be done on your knees, so you come to a row, place it down, mountain climber. Come back down onto your knees, row, mountain climb. So, this in control. So that's that set, and we're going to repeat that once more through. So, first one with that pull through. So, place the, the dumbbell up the side, and we're going to go into that push up and pass through. So, off we go. So, push up, pass through. Again, on your knees for the modified version. It works you just as hard. Make sure you've got that correct alignment, hands under the shoulders. I've got my feet about hip width apart to help with stability. Brilliant. Excellent. Right, we're going to go into that row to fly. So again, I'm sticking to my lighter dumbbell. That's warm. Right, so palms. Placing the side of your legs, back 45 degree, slight bend in those knees, row, drop down into fly. So row, fly, those flies, your arms should be coming out to in line with your shoulders, with a slight bend in that elbow. Back, still 45 degrees, nice and straight. Well done. Brilliant. 
Okay, drop those weights. And we're gonna go down into that chest fly. So, laying back on the floor. <clears throat> Knees slightly bent. And you're gonna have your hands above your chest, coming out to the side, touching the floor, the backs of your arms and squeezing up. So slight bend in those elbows, squeezing up above your chest. Well done. Excellent. So keep it going. Nice and controlled. Brilliant. Okay, bring them down nice and safely to the ground and sit up. And we're going to go into that mountain climber row. So again, the kettlebell in between your hands. Okay. And we're going to do that row, squeeze in, and then mountain climb up. So keeping those <coughs> elbows close to your body. This can be done on your knees. To our biceps and triceps. So you'll be working to a certain degree anyway in that last set with those press ups and chest flies. So this time we're going to really target them. So we're going to go into hammer curl for the first one. So sit, bring in dumbbells up, palms facing the side of your legs as you come up. A little squeeze at the top, nice and controlled, close to your body. Back straight. If you find it easier, you can take a stance. So step back. Nice and controlled. Again, elbows nice and close to your body. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, next one we're going to do the halo. So you're going to take one of your dumbbells. You're going to have it here to chest, and we're going to go around the body, bringing it back to starting position. So, but again, back nice and straight. You can take a step back from the balance. So, we're going to go all in one way for the first 20 seconds, and then I will tell you, and we'll go back in reverse. Well done. right around the head. Okay, we're going to stop and we're going to go back in the opposite direction. I feel weird at first. Nice and controlled. Well done. Brilliant. Next one we're going to go into cross body curls. So you're going to take your dumbbells, you're going to have the palm space on the side of your legs, feet back hip at the palm, and we're just going to curl across the body, alternating the arms as we go. So stay close to your body as you go. So we go again, nice and controlled. Brilliant. Keeping that core strong, supporting. Over halfway. Last few. Excellent. 
Right, okay, next one I'm going down into tricep overhead extension, laying down. So this one, dumbbells above your head, and you're going to bring them back behind, keeping those elbows close together, not flapping out to the side. Okay, come back up and right behind the head. To intensify this, you can come up into a bridge, keeping that bottom off the ground as you do this exercise. Okay, it's entirely up to you. And squeezing those glutes if you're in the bridge position. You should feel this in the backs of your arms, in those triceps, squeezing a bit as you come back up to above your head. Well done. Fantastic. Bring them that down safely to the floor and come back up. So that's that first set. And we're going to repeat that through once more. So we're going to start with the hammer curls. So this one, again, palm space to the side of your body, coming up nice and controlled. Taking a stance, step back. If you find it easier, supporting your back. Just trying to make sure that back stays nice and strong, uh, straight and strong. Well done. Nice and controlled. Over halfway. Brilliant, guys. The last couple. Excellent. So we're going to drop one of those dumbbells to the side, out of the way, and we're going to go into that halo. So again, starting position is here, in front of your chest, going around the back of your head to starting position. So we'll do 20 seconds in one direction, and then I'll let you know and we'll change. So off we go. So nice and around. Done. Again, keeping that core nice and tight, nice and strong to support you. Right, we're going to swap, go in the opposite direction. Right, done. Excellent. Okay, then we're going to those cross. Curls. So taking the other dumbbell, palms space inside of your legs, either feet hip width or in stance back. We're going to go across the body into a cross curl. So like this. Off we go. So nice and controlled, keeping close to the body. So you bring in your arm across the front of your chest, almost to the opposite shoulder. Well done. One more exercise than this set, then you can go on to our final set. So the next step, we're going to be doing two shoulder exercises and two ab exercises. Fantastic. Right, put them to the side, and we can go on to the floor into that lying tricep extension. So again, move your feet up like this, then back behind the head so you feel that stretch along the back of those triceps. Off we go. So in this position, or bringing your heels close to your bottom and coming up into that bridge position, trying to make sure that you've got a nice straight line from your kind of from the tops of your knees down to your head. Well done. This is also known as the skull crusher, so you might have seen it, this exercise labelled as that. Brilliant. 
Lovely. So bring them safely back down to the side and then come back up into that standing position. So the next one we're going to go to lat raises, then front raises. So you're going to come up into a T, back down into a front raise. Okay. So into a T, palms facing down, slight bend in those elbows, and to front raise, just to chest height. You can have your feet still. If you find it easier in those lat raises, take a step back. It's a tough one, this one. Hey, that's why I've only got two shoulder exercises for this set. Well done. Nice and controlled. If you need to take a break, stop for a couple of seconds and then rejoin. Excellent. Okay, give those shoulders a nice right roll. And we're going to go into alternating shoulder press. So you're going to have your hands in this position and we're going to alternate up towards the ceiling. Okay. Coming back to the same starting position. So give them a nice roll. Off we go. So as you come up, bring those arms close to those ears as you extend overhead. Well done. I know your shoulders are probably on fire. Mine certainly are. And keep going right to the end. Last few. Excellent. Right, give those shoulders a well deserved roll and we're going to go down into leg raises. So this one, lay on the floor, you're going to have your dumbbells up kind of above your chest and we're going to either come down into single leg, single, single, double, okay, or just stick with the single or stick with the double. You work at your level. Just make sure that when you come down, that back is securely on the ground, it's not arching. As soon as you start to feel that arch, bring the legs back up to start in position. Well done. Right, next one, we're going to go into that Russian twist. So just, you just use one dumbbell for this, or no dumbbell. Hold that dumbbell, and we're going to come back. So you've got a 45 degree angle in the back, and you're going to tap side to side. You can take this by having your feet off the ground. So off we go. So side to side, tapping as you go round. Well done. And last 10 seconds. Ooh. Brilliant. Right, come back up to standing. We're going to repeat that set once more through and then you are done. So we're going to go into those side lat raises, into front raise. So again, palms facing the side of your body, kind of up into a T. So no higher than shoulder height as you come up. And into a front raise. Nice and controlled. You're going to be tired on this round. So take your time, make sure you get that form correct. Well done. Go on over halfway. Excellent. 
excellent. All right, give those shoulders a massive roll. And we're going to go into that alternating shoulder press. So, oh, give yourself a little bit of a swing. Right, so palms facing forward, alternating, bringing that elbow close to your ear as you extend. Make sure you've just got a tiny slight bend in the elbow, you're not locking them, and bring it back down to starting position. Well done. One last couple. Wonderful. Right, final two exercises. We're going to work that ab. There's four. So we've got those leg raises. So back, lying on the floor. Dumbbells above your chest. So either single, single, double, or just single, or just double. You work at your level. So off we go. Brilliant guys. The last few. Lovely. Put the safety on the floor and come up. And we're going to go into that final exercise, that Russian twist. So again, feet on the ground, off the ground, back 45 degree. Also, no dumbbell if you're tired at this point, you can just do it side to side with no dumbbell. So off we go, last exercise. Keep pushing, almost there. And last 10 seconds. Excellent, well done. You did great guys. Oh dear, that's tough. Okay, make sure that you cool down now. Give it a cool down on my channel or cool down of your choice. Stretching, anything you like. Okay, make sure you drink for the rest of the day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.